मनोज जी मैं आपका धन्यवाद करना चाहूँगा आपने मुझे इंट्रोड्यूस किया मेरे बातें मेरे बारे कुछ अच्छी बातें भी कहीं पर आ, मैं अपने आप को अगर इंट्रोड्यूस करना चाहूँगा इस गैदरिंग में तो मैं सिर्फ दो चीज़ें कहूँगा पहली बात तो आई एम अ क्विंटिसेंशल डेली वाला आ, मेरी पैदाश दिल्ली में हुई दरियागंज में मेरी स्कूलिंग लाजपत नगर में हुई आई वेंट टू दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी जहां पाँच साल मैं स्टूडेंट था आई वॉज ऑन द टीचिंग फैकल्टी ऑफ अ दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी कॉलेज फॉर वन ईयर सो दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग आई वुड से टू इस्टेब्लिश माई क्रीडेंशियल्स एज अ ट्रू डेली वाला द सेकेंड थिंग आई वुड सबमिट इज दैट भाजपा के साथ मेरा जो संबंध है वो अभी तीन महीने पहले नहीं शुरू हुआ आई गो बैक अ लॉन्ग वे वेन आई वॉज अ स्टूडेंट इन डेली यूनिवर्सिटी मेरा विद्यार्थी परिषद के साथ और बाकी जो आज सीनियर लीडरशिप है भाजपा की उनके साथ संबंध रहे और इसलिए जब मैं भाजपा को ज्वाइन uh, करने वाला था तो मुझे एक सीनियर लीडर ने पूछा कि आप कब ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं तो मैंने कहा कि इट शुड नॉट बी नेसेसरी फॉर मी टू ज्वाइन बिकॉज माई वे ऑफ थिंकिंग हैज़ ऑलवेज कन्वर्ज विद दैट ऑफ द बी जे पीज ही सर नाई नो भाजपा आपके अंदर रही है पर नाउ यू विल हैव टू फॉर्मली ज्वाइन भाजपा सो हेयर आई एम प्रजेंटिंग माई सेल्फ टू यू ये जो आपने आज इंटेलेक्चुअल मीट के लिए प्रश्न पूछा है वाई बी जे पी एंड आई थिंक दैट क्वेश्चन आंसर इट सेल्फ सिंपली इफ यू लुक एट द इशूज ऑन विच this election is being fought and those are the issues of good governance and development and we have had 10 years of uninterrupted rule by the congress led upa and the results are quite apparent as we have repeatedly pointed out the nda handed over the reins of government in 2004 to the congress led upa when the rate of growth was in the vicinity of 9% now when the nda will stands ready to reclaim governance the rate of growth is well below 5% it is just above 4% most important inflation is over 10% high food inflation rising cost of food products the job growth that has taken place rather the growth that has taken place has largely been jobless corruption which has broken all records 2g coal gate cwg etc these form the background and provide the backdrop against which this election is being fought and therefore for anyone who has to make a choice and you set out the choices in terms of congress aam aadmi party and the bjp i would submit to you uh, ladies and gentlemen that the choice is not difficult to make because both for the sake of good governance and development it is necessary that we vote for the bjp and we vote for mr modi narendra bhai modi as india's next prime minister what has been the record on foreign policy and defense policy those are the two issues manoj ji you asked me to address the foreign policy of the upa government has as far as i can see been characterized by hesitation reticence and st strategic confusion it has been directionless and purposeless and one could even say sterile N at no stage in the history of independent india has a senior indian diplomat been strip searched not for any other reason but on account of a case brought by another friendly government with which we are supposed to have a strategic partnership this is totally unprecedented last year and the year before that in 2012 and 2013 we had another neighbor which is adopting expansionist postures undertake 
incursions into our territory for long periods of time, two weeks and more, in the Dipsang Valley in Ladakh. And how does the foreign minister of the country choose to describe it? He says, this is only a pimple on an otherwise beautiful skin. And not to be, um, uh, it, he did not leave it at that. Thereafter, he visited Shanghai, and he was so impressed with the uh, economic uh, uh, growth that he saw the high-rise buildings that he wanted to settle down there. That is one aspect of the uh, mindset of the senior leaders of the UPA government, which I think we should bear in mind. But let's look more closely at the conduct of defense policy. At no point in the last five decades has the civilian military disconnect been so severe as we have recently witnessed. We have a defense minister who rightly and for admirable reasons likes to fight corruption. And this defense minister, and I want to welcome Minakshi ji uh, here and... Uh, Fighting corruption in and of itself is a remarkable thing and should be encouraged. However, this has not prevented <coughs> corruption from taking place in defense procurement. Corruption is taking place and is more rampant. But he has allowed his political judgment to be overtaken and as a result, essential procurement and purchasing which the defense services require has come to a grinding halt. I do not like to easily um, blame people for accidents which take place because accidents by their very nature um, uh, take place on account of a very complex set of factors. But the naval chief decided to bear responsibility for the spate of unfortunate accidents which took place no one in the political class came forward, but it has been more than four weeks since the chief of naval staff stepped down and his successor has still to be named. So the pace of making senior appointments is as slow, if not slower, than the pace at which essential refurbishments and spare parts and uh, weapon systems have to be acquired for the armed forces. Let me now come to what I think is the cause for the present logjam and state of being in foreign and uh, security policy. I think this is ultimately traceable to the fact that we have an appointed and not an elected prime minister. Uh, friends, 10 years ago, on May the 18th, to be precise, the Congress party carried out an amendment to the Congress parliamentary party's constitution. And that amendment, which changed para 5 and introduced a new para 5C, said that the leader of the Congress parliamentary party would hereafter, that is starting in 2004, be appointed by the chairperson. This was a new post created. In other words, the parliamentary tradition or even the position which Mr. Rahul Gandhi outlined in the session of the AICC in Delhi last month that the Congress parliamentary party elects its leader is not the situation obtaining on the ground. Starting 2004, the Congress parliamentary party constitution clearly says it is the chairperson who will appoint the leader of the Congress parliamentary party and therefore, the person so appointed clearly owes his position to the chairperson. And the chairperson is ultimately the place where the authority resides. So if you have this system of diarchy and the prime minister, there's no point describing him as weak. Because weak or strong, he has to seek instructions from a higher authority, which is his appointing authority. And therefore, we've had a series of um, um, bad decisions or delayed decisions or no decisions, largely as a result of the fact that the prime minister of the country is not where the authority resides 
and he is not accountable and that there is a higher authority which calls uh, the shots. Therefore, both on the scale of foreign and security policy, if you read the BJP's manifesto, which was outlined yesterday, which is absolutely um, a pragmatic and forward-looking document, and I will just point out one or two uh, areas there. It says, equations will be mended through pragmatism and a doctrine of mutually beneficial and interlocking relationships based on enlightened national interest. In our neighborhood, we will pursue friendly relations, but will not hesitate to take strong positions if necessary. We will encourage multilateral and plurilateral uh, um, uh, engagements where we are members, and they go on to name BRICS, G20, IPSA, and so on. We will expand and empower our pool of diplomats, which is music to the ears of a pro professional uh, civil servant like me, who's now making the transition. And then we will use our NRIs, PIOs, and professionals in order to do this. So I want to now move from foreign and security policy to what is at stake in these elections. And I'm glad that Minakshi ji has joined us. Um, before she came, I was sharing with all our friends here that I'm essentially, I'm a quintessential Delhi wala. I was born here, brought up here, educated here. New Delhi, where Minakshi ji is con uh, contesting from, is a very prestigious seat, not only because it covers important institutions like Parliament, Supreme Court, Rashtrapati Bhavan, but more so from the point of view of the Bhajpa, because it has traditionally been a Jansang, Janta Party, BJP stronghold. We had the privilege in many ways. We had the privilege in the 60s of Balraj Madhokji uh, contesting from here. Professor M.L. Sondi in 67 on a Jansang ticket, Vajpayee ji in 77, 80, uh, Advani ji in 89, 91, Jagmohan ji in 96, 98, and 99. And therefore, I think it is, uh, not only will she win the seat, I have no doubt on that, but more important, she will bring to parliament an, ex an expertise as a professional and which is what is, that is what is important. She is an eminent lawyer in her own right. She has associated with the important issues of the day, the safety of women. She has been uh, associated with the drafting of uh, 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 bills like Women's Reservation bill, bill, the problem of sexual harassment at the workplace. She took up the case of permanent commissioning of women in the armed forces. Uh, she has launched a mobile phone app, Raksha for Women's Safety. And more than that, the persona that she has developed as a result of forceful advocacy of the BJP's uh, inner content and essential core on television and elsewhere makes her, in my view, not only an ideal representative for the New Delhi constituency, so that she will add to already a very famous name, her father-in-law, um, of course, uh, as I said, she's earned the right in her own way, but her father-in-law is equally a um, strong defender of um, uh, important causes. And with 90,000 youth uh, in um, each constituency who are new voters, uh, I and the kind of uh, pent-up anger that we are witnessing, we need um, uh, representatives like Minakshi, and therefore I appeal to all of you uh, that I'm very grateful that I've been given this opportunity, that we should take the opportunity of the vote uh, on the 10th, and we should give Minakshi uh, not only our vote, but ensure that she wins with a, a nigh, very um, convincing and resounding margin. Thank you very much.